there'll be no Bennett brother reunion or a third stint with the Patriots for Martellus Bennett, according to his Instagram post. Bennett's brother Michael, 33, a defensive end, was traded from from the Eagles to the Patriots on March 8, leading to plenty of speculation that Marthellus, 32, a tight end, who played a full season for the Pats in 2016 and last played in the NFL in two games for the Pats in 2017, would come out of retirement to join him in New England. Marty B even got a pitch to return from his old quarterback in New England. Martellus Bennett has forged a new career with his imagination agency and he recently released his book Dear Black Boy, which seeks to inspire African-American kids in outlets beyond athletics. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. Surprise, surprise, the New England Patriots are spending carefully in free agency. Rather than dole out significant cash to one or two players, the Patriots' strategy to date has been to sign a handful of depth pieces at relatively low cost. On Tuesday morning, we got a look at the contract details of two such players. First up, wide receiver Maurice Harris, who can earn up to $1 million this season, per ESPN's Mike Reese. W.R. Maurice Harris contract, one year, $1 million signing bonus, $90 K base salary, $720 Proster bonus, $150,000, $9,375 per game if on 46 man roster, workout bonus, $40 analysis, there is injury split to $448,000, and also an injury waiver. Protects team. Modest deal to build depth, Mike Reese, at Mike Rice, March 19, 2019 According to Spitrack, Harris's $720,000 base salary in 2019 makes him the second lowest paid Patriots wide receiver, ahead of DeMoon Patterson and just behind fellow newcomer Bruce Ellington, who carries a $895,000 base salary. Related, Mike Pennell could earn up to $8 million with Patriots that contract suggests the 26-year-old Harris may have to compete for a roster spot during the preseason, especially if New England trades for a receiver of higher value. New Patriot safety and expected special teams contributor Terrence Brooks, meanwhile, has the chance to earn a maximum of $4 million total a two-year contract, per the Boston Globe's Ben Volin. Terrence Brooks two-year deal with Patriots, max value $4 million. $1.305 million fully guaranteed, signing bonus, 2019 salary. Will make a min of $1.4 million, max of $2 million in 2019 with incentives. No guarantees in 2020, so both special teamers, Brooks Bolden, can make $2 million this year. Ben Volen, at Ben Volen, March 19, 2019 Head coach Bill Belichick clearly values special teams, so it's not surprising the Patriots are willing to shell out north of $1 million guaranteed to two potential core special teamers in Brooks and running back Brandon Bolden. New England's work isn't done on the special teams front, as it currently doesn't have a kicker or punter with Stephen Gostkowski and Ryan Allen still unsigned in free agency. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. The Patriots' deal with free agent O's tackle Mike Pennell is for two years with a base salary of $5 million and could be worth up to $8 million in incentives, according to ESPN's Mike Reese. The team Mike Pennell's contract with the Patriots is for two years and has a base value of $5 million. It includes playing time incentives that increase the maximum value of the deal to $8 million. Panel projects as a starter next to Lawrence Guy, Mike Reese, at Mike Rice, March 19, 2019 Panel, 6 foot 4, 332 pounds, turns 28 in May. The former New York Jets defensive tackle will try to make up for the loss of Malcolm Brown, who signed with the Saints after the signing. Panel spoke to Patriots.com about joining a winning culture in New England. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device.